Please give it up for Yash Nelatali. How are you guys doing to this morning? Good. Good? Cool. Seems like you guys didn't have any breakfast. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I'm here to talk the, about the story of Pinterest and like the told to talk about growth, but I don't know, I'm just gonna narrate the story and you guys can just feel free to interrupt and ask any questions. But uh, does everybody here know or heard about Pinterest? I hope. Cool, that's good. So, I mean, a brief product pitch, like, so this is Pinterest, this is my profile. So as you can see, like, you can tell, like, I'm into typography, uh, design, books. So you can kind of tell, like, what I'm into and what I'm currently curating about, where my thoughts are. So that's the profile. So, and if you can, like, visit any of one of my boards and, like, click a pin, this is how a close-up would look like. Uh, that's Marty, one of my coworker or ex coworker. So he he's into super into Star Wars and stuff. So so this is the current home feed of Pinterest. Like the more you follow, the more suggestions or recommendations we can provide. Uh, so as you can see, like I'm more into food, photography, and a bunch of stuff. So cool. So I guess um, I can start with the story. Like as as um, I met Ben at a meetup, like has no intentions of working for him, but like he found like, hey, I think like you, you would be a cool addition and I have this cool idea of like bringing social catalogs that we like always collect from like different design showrooms or like furniture. Like we just like, hey, can I have that catalog? And we just like take them home and we like go through them. Like, so the human behavior has always been like people love collecting and curating. So how about bring this uh, human behavior into the real world, which is what Pinterest is all about. So uh, when he like literally pitched the idea, I was like, okay, it sounds like a cool idea. Yeah. What kind of meetup was that? It was a Python meetup. Like uh, I was in another startup, like super boring job. I used to like get my stuff done in an hour and I used to work like a ton of open source. <laughs> and like friend feed was acquired by Facebook and they open sourced a long polling server, which was like not really available. So you can't build a chat solution or chat server back in the day. I was like super impressed with the ser uh, server and also that's why I decided to go to the meetup. And like uh, I did a lot of my preparation homework. I like downloaded the source code. I like read through it. I like, yeah, I just like basically read a lot of the code and I had to ask a lot of questions. Uh, so that's where I met Ben. Uh, super random, but like, yeah. End of 2009, like he pitched the idea, like, hey, let's go, like, get a drink and like, let's talk about it. Uh, that that's when he pitched, like, hey, like, how about? He literally brought like a big cork board and like had he pinned a lot of his high, high school. He he's super into insects and collections, so he had like real insects like pinned to a cork board, and he literally brought it and like, hey, this is my pitch. This is what I want to do to the internet, and I was like, cool. Uh, but yeah, like. I was super blown away because it's still like super abstract. Everything was in his head and all I could see was like a little path into his vision. So I was like, okay, I'll think about it. And I never answered my phone for the next one month, but he kept on calling and like never gave up. So after one month, like I answered and like said, like I'll think I might take it, but I'm still not sold. So we had another meeting and then he finally like sealed the deal. Uh, at this point, it was like 2010 January, and like it was pretty much me, Ben, and another co-founder in one of the most crappiest apartments I've ever been. Uh, super dark. There's not much light, and they gave me the window, uh, hoping I would open the window. Yeah. What did you say to your friend? Nothing really great, but I was like, sounds cool, and like I liked the guy. I liked his persistence, but. I really can't remember. A lot of people ask, like, why? Why did you take it? But I just don't have a perfect answer. It was just like more like a leap of faith. I like the guy. I like his hustle. Every day he was just like trying to raise money, and he's like, "I'll pay you. I'll pay you. Just come." But yes, yeah, so somehow he just like pushed it. I don't. I don't really remember like what happened. But like we just call it the dark era because none of us have like a complete hundred percent picture. But like yeah. So. 
Yeah, that, that's when like we started in this small, super crappy apartment, like 2010. Pretty much you can see the growth is almost like below the line, negative. Uh, we spent like almost six, seven months just prototyping like, hey, I think we have this idea of catalogs and collecting, like how can we actually like conceptualize a product on top of this uh, collecting human behavior? Uh, every day I would prototype something, uh, but but we were always more like, hey, how do, is it, is it really gonna work? So I kind of threw the website online without even telling to Ben because like, why not? And nobody like really cared. We just call it like we were in like beta, but like not really we wanted to be, but like we just didn't know how to market or we just didn't know how to pitch to users. But like uh, basically all the friends and family of all, uh, all three, like me, Ben and Paul, like started using the product. Like we just gave like a small pin it bookmarklet right from the day one and like hey, you just go browse your web anywhere and you can just click this button and like pin any web page you want. And luckily all the content was just like really well curated because I think people have very unique tastes and they just brought the best content in, into the ecosystem which kind of really helped Pinterest take out because everything in there is like beautiful best content, well curated by human beings. So at this point we were like super small, like one web engine, one database, one engineer, two founders, always trying to raise money. So I could just, I, we just like meet at 9.30, we have a small, super small stand up, like hey, this is where things are last night and uh, I'm gonna build follow model or like I'm gonna build profile, I'm gonna build wall messages. And like I used to just tell like this is what I'm gonna do and like all I hear was like we're gonna raise some money, we'll be back. And they just like bounce. And like I see them at 3, 3.30 p.m. every evening, just like with super tired faces and like, hey, Yash, like, hey man, how's it going? How did the fundraising go there? Like, nah, I don't think it went well. I was like, hey, how about I show you some sweet feature? And like, I would just like pump them up, like, hey, it works this way, like, we could do this. It's, they're like, oh, that's cool. And like the day goes by again, rinse repeat for like a couple of months, raising money everywhere. Um, if we can fast forward like, a year, oh, that's the team. That's the three of us, and this is what we shipped. Super V1 part of the product. It still like retains most of the V1 of the uh, v versions of the product, but like everything is just like more polished, thought through. You know, design. <laughs> so fast forward one year, you could see like the graph is just starting to like make some blueness at like. Uh, things started taking off a little bit. That's when we hired an engineer, we hired a round. So finally they had some money to pay off. Uh, I got my visa, so like a bunch of shit happened, and, but site was just like blowing up at this point. Uh, not really blowing up, but like the servers were big enough to like go down and like every day six o'clock I just like, hey guys, I wanna go home and they're like, no, this is like the peak time. All the moms on the East Coast like put their kids to bed and they just like hop on Pinterest and they just want to pin and the site goes down. <laughs> so every day it's just like the same thing. I come at nine, leave at like 10.30. It's like, gotta keep all the pinners to bed. That's my responsibility, <laughs> like, all right, pinning done, go back, go, go back to bed. Uh, so yeah, and like right the next morning, like, hey, I think we need to fix this. This can't go on forever. Uh, and the new guy has like kids, of course, so he has to leave at 5.30, like put the kids to bed. So it's like a really funny story. So every night it's just, we need to fix this tomorrow first thing. And tomorrow first thing something else breaks, so that needs our attention. So everything keeps breaking. So we plugged all our fingers in different holes and finally like the dam just blew in our face. At this point, um, that's the technology. I, I don't know if anybody cared about the technology, but we were just like pretty much open source. Uh, open source hogs, like we just used MongoDB because they pitched to us and we found like, hey, that's a cool database, why not? So at this point, it was just trying to keep the site up to engineers, sleepless nights. Uh, that was the conference room. It was literally like out, outside our apartment. There was a small couch and like n any investor wouldn't like even like to sit on that couch. They would be like, I'm fine, I'll stand. So <laughs> that was just like a conference meeting. That, that's Evan, one of our co-founder who's like the design guy. And that's Enid, like community, Paul, that's Marty and me. So that's how we would have lunch. I mean a round table. So at this point, 
something happened. I, I just call it like an explosion. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, at this point, sleepless nights, trying to keep the site up. So we just call it the dark era, and um, we just tried it's another ton of money, another like Series A round, not another, but like Series A. Hired more engineers and like tried to keep the site up. So let's just move through the dark era pretty fast. 